The deadline to enroll in a individual health insurance plan is January 15th, but for all intents and purposes, the deadline may be December 15th. And here to talk with me about this is Jay O, author of Maximize Your Medicare. Jay, welcome. Thanks for having me, Bob. So there are two deadlines to think about? Well, the formal deadline is actually January 15th, which is longer than it has been in the past. It's a full month extension. That said, if you want to have your health insurance be effective on January 1st, the reality is the last day to enroll is December 15th. I encourage everyone to do that, even if you are already enrolled in a plan, because as a result of the Affordable Care Act, your APTC, which is your advanced premium tax credit, may change going into next year Everyone's a year older, of course. In addition to that, employment situation may have changed your taxable income. This ripple effect would create a, a change, for example, into a health insurance premium. It can also result in the idea that you would want to change plans to find something that is more suited to, to a person's individual needs. Right. And, and the reason for the extension had to do with COVID and is likely not to be repeated unless we're in a in a extended pandemic? It's a good question, Bob. Um, it's part of the Build Back Better Act to extend the uh, enrollment deadline to January 15th. Whether or not this continues on is yet to be seen, to be candid with you. That said, I would expect it to, to continue, although we've been wrong before when trying to make political predictions. <laughs> Yes, I don't want to be uh, 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 be the one that uh, makes a firm statement about something that could change. Um, right. Anything else that folks need to know about the current enrollment period for individual health insurance that we haven't talked about? It's very important for persons to understand to do this before December 15th for extra reasons. And the reason I'm making this suggestion is that people can have a plan be effective on January 1st go to the doctor with their preventative care type of appointments or screenings, find out different news, whether, they, whether that be positive or negative, you can still then adjust in January through January 15th, if that is required. It's just a way for persons to get better flexibility if they enroll first before December 15th. All right. Jay, um, as always, I want to thank you for sharing your knowledge and wisdom with our readers and viewers. It's greatly appreciated. Thanks for having me, Bob.